story. <laughs> 15 years ago, I was working at the Score Television Network, sports station at, at a King Street, downtown Toronto. And YouTube was like eight minutes old, it felt. It was a new thing. And a clip started to really garner a lot of hits from a reporter in the Toronto area named Rob Leth. I won't mention the network. It's not that important to me. But Rob's a good guy and a great reporter. He now works for City TV. This was 15 years ago. The clip we're about to show you is still one of the most extraordinary things I've ever seen in this business because not only did it happen, but Rob was professional enough to finish his sign-off looking dead into the camera after it happened. I know a lot of you have seen it, and I know he just ran it nine <laughs> times in the previous coming-ups, but we're going to show it to you one more time, and he's fine. All right, so I've got my trusty stopwatch, and here they come down the hill. It looks like Ruben is in the lead, and here comes Al. This that was a bad idea. At Riverside Park, Rob Leth, Global News. The okay. king of Riverside is in studio, Rob Leth. He Jordan. is here. <laughs> he is in one piece, miraculously. When you look back at that, what goes through your mind 15 years later? Um, well, I'm lucky to still be alive, for one. I know Seriously. when I came home, my wife was like, you could have broken your neck on that. Yes. Uh, luckily, I did You could have broken a lot of things. But, like, nothing happened. Like, I felt great. For a month after that, my back felt amazing. <laughs> it so, reset like, you somehow. I wouldn't recommend doing it, but I, I felt great for a month. You didn't I, miss a beat. I had a b bit of a bruise on my knee, but I landed facing the camera, and I knew that something spectacular had just happened. The microphone was right there. I was seeing stars, but I looked at the camera and I had to say something, so that's what came He's out. He's the Beyonce of reporting. Beyonce flies down a flight of stairs and gets back up and she keeps singing. It's like you, the adrenaline's going through you, but you realize that was a moment. I, I think the most incredible thing is, like, can we give a shout out to the camera guy, Carlo? Yes. Carlo Tomic. Um, he's the guy who shot this, and not only did he record it, but he kept no, recording it after it happened. Out. Yes. Sauntered into the shot. We've got the matching jackets, and he's like, yeah, he's fine. He'll walk. And it you off. say, did you get that, buddy? Yeah. And, and he got <laughs> it. He got everything. That? And the, he's I, like, I, yeah, I got it. Like my instinct as a camera operator would be to like press stop. Like, that didn't work. You know, let's try this again. Forgive me, because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm looking this up right now Look on YouTube, because I'm curious the views. at how many views this thing... While you do that, it's at what point, like, how did this seem like a good idea? Like, I'm going to stand at the bottom of this hill, yeah, we, and uh, you're hopefully going to avoid me. We didn't plan it out too well, <laughs> obviously. Um, the plan was to fall on top of Ruben at the end, because I figured he would come down and slowly, slowly crash into me, and I would fall <laughs> on top of him. And I'm rehearsing my line, and I'm timing it all out. So I was kind of thinking about that. And at the last second, I'm like, oh, no, jump. And I got, like, that far off the ground. And luckily, I did oh, because that caused how. a rotation. If I was still planted on the ground, my legs would probably still be at Riverdale. Yeah. Like, it's approaching a million. Like, it, it, it's, it's gotten a lot of hits online. So at, at, at the end of the day, walk us through what the assignment initially was. So, and why at the bottom of the hill while people are streaking at you down a hill on, on toboggans? So the assignment was to go out. It was March break. So kids were out of school. There was a lot of snow. The idea was to go try and find the fastest sled out there that year. <laughs> and I was like, how do you do that? There's so many different variables. So we stopped at a store on the way, got a trusty stopwatch, expensed it. And we found two kids who were the exact same size with the exact same snow tubes. So I was like, I'll just time these kids and see who wins the race. So oh. we planned it all out that way. That's what was supposed to happen. Yeah. And uh, people are like, why didn't you move? Why didn't you see this coming? It's because I did plan to fall on top of them right. lightly. <laughs> but we should have done like 10 test runs, maybe. Maybe. So when oh you hit the ground, gosh. you felt nothing? Like this moment what? right about uh, here. Uh. What did you feel? Well, you can see, like, my whole body, the weight is evenly distributed. Yeah. So, like, I landed on my <laughs> hand and my foot possible. at the same time. That's true. Like, I still remember being right upside down. That moment right there, I still remember looking back and seeing the sky below the ground. Right. And I was like, uh-oh. It went, this, yeah, this blue, is white, not blue, right. white, blue, white, blue, white a couple of times. You had a few rotations. But the trusty stopwatch went flying, like, 30 meters out of the shot. But the microphone was right there, and I was facing the camera. Oh, that's what went flying. Yeah. I see, yeah and, the, and the was person like in that, you hear frame. them at the end of the video, too, and they're like, are you okay? Because they yeah, have to Carla. come back. Yeah. 
not the not the camera uh, operator, but the person oh, who was right. in the yeah there was the, a bystander. What do you call it? The sled, the, the witness, the, yeah, the witness, the toboggan, <laughs> the toboggan who knocked you over. Whoever was sitting in that, they're like, "Are you okay, man? Didn't mean to do that." And you're like, "So I see. It's the fact that you jumped up that actually really spared you." Yeah, because yeah. that's what caused the rotation, as opposed to just getting slammed. Exactly, and I had like a comfy jacket landing on snow, so. Oh right. my gosh. And then at what point did this go viral? Because viral, like you said, Sid, it wasn't a thing. 15 it, years ago, it those started were going to move viral. quickly, though. It, it did. started to move. Yeah, it was at the start of YouTube. And I remember a coworker coming down the hall and saying, Do you know how big this is going to be? And I'm like, I don't I don't think it's going to be anything. And a few days later, it was like more and more and more. And it just got bigger and bigger. I was like, I guess this is what YouTube is. <laughs> and now you're immortalized forever. Rob, so, we, we appreciate you, man. Again, it was, it was the most horrifying, Turn, okay. amazing thing I've seen. Really throughout, it's a top five amazing, horrifying thing. I'm glad you're okay 15 years later. Still I didn't tell you at the time, glad you're okay. People are saying it should be a heritage moment because that's how much it was like it such a thing be. for well, so someone long. Someone did do a graphic. They did. They did they? Did. So it's, it's very it's, funny. It's out there. Have oh, you, there, there, there <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't. Have you gone to bargaining since? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and whatever I report now is from the top of the hill. Okay. Good move. Yeah. Back Good up move. on that horse he He's goes. a great sport. He's a great guy, and, and we love to have him here at City TV. Rob Leffert. He's Rob. fantastic. So good to see you. You're Thank great, you. man. It's still one of the wildest things I've ever seen. All right.